In the heart of Skyrim's tumultuous civil war, one figure stood as the unwavering symbol of imperial authority, General Tullius. His story is one of duty, honor, and the relentless pursuit of order in a land torn by chaos. Sent by Emperor Titus Mead to quell the Stormcloak Rebellion, Tullius is the embodiment of imperial resolve. In this video, we will get to know the experienced General Tullius, who is in a very strategic position for the civil war in Skyrim. We'll discuss his views on the Civil War, his hatred of Ulfric, his relationship with Norse culture, and what he has to say about the coming Great War against the Thalmor. If you want to watch more informative videos about Skyrim, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy watching! Born and raised in Cyrodiil, Tullius was a seasoned veteran long before he set foot in Skyrim. His military prowess and strategic acumen were unmatched, earning him the respect of allies and the fear of enemies. Tullius's destiny was shaped by the Legion's Code. His journey to Skyrim is one of loyalty to the Empire and a testament to his strategic genius. In Fourth Era 201, after what the Empire considered the murder of High King Torig by Ulfric Stormcloak, General Tullius was sent to Skyrim by Emperor Titus Mede II. Ulfric Stormcloak was leading skirmishes against the Empire, and the Legion was originally unsuccessful in beating his Stormcloaks. When Tullius got sent to Skyrim after the murder of High King Torig, the Empire became more successful in their campaign. As Skyrim's civil war escalated, General Tullius found himself not only fighting on the front lines, but also navigating the treacherous political landscape of the province. His alliance with the Empire's interests made him a target for rebellion, yet he remained resolute in his mission. Tullius, being experienced in putting down unrest, started turning things around for the Empire. He personally captured Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants at Darkwater Crossing, and was trying to have them executed at Helgen, until Alduin appeared and Ulfric, alongside his men, escaped in the chaos. Still, under his command, the Legionnaires, largely consisting of a locally recruited militia legion of scouts and skirmishers, started massacring the Stormcloaks and slowly pushing them back. When the ancient dragon Alduin appears centuries later and suddenly attacks Helgen, General Tullius decides to defend Helgen with his troops. His goal is to defend Helgen until its citizens are evacuated. However, Alduin is unaffected by the Emperor's Legion of Magic Arrows and destroys the town with its flames. Surviving the attack, Tullius retreats to Castle Daur in solitude to regroup. Alduin's interruption of Ulfric's execution ends up prolonging the Skyrim civil war as a result. While concerned about the return of the dragons, he refused to let it distract him from his objectives. As Ulfric also escaped from Helgen alive, and reports indicated that he was preparing to step up his campaign, Tullius devoted most of his efforts to gaining the fealty of the neutral Jarl of Whiterun, Balgruf the Greater, eventually succeeding when Balgruf declared his loyalty to the Empire in exchange for Imperial reinforcements to defend Whiterun from an imminent Stormcloak siege. This alliance would prove to be an important turning point in the Skyrim Civil War. For Balgruf the Greater is also Ulfric's sworn enemy, and just as capable a Jarl. Tullius's leadership was defined by his unwavering commitment to discipline and order. Every decision he made was calculated, every battle meticulously planned. His soldiers respected him, not just out of fear, but out of admiration for his dedication to the Empire. Among supporters of the Empire, Tullius was commonly regarded as their best hope for victory. But behind the facade of a stoic general lay a man burdened by the weight of responsibility. Tullius understood the cost of war, the lives lost, and the families shattered. Yet he believed that only through unity and strength could Skyrim find peace. The clash between General Tullius and Ulfric Stormcloak was more than a battle of arms. It was a clash of ideologies. Tullius saw himself as a defender of law and order, while Ulfric viewed him as a symbol of imperial oppression. Tullius had troops stationed in the Pale, which he was trying to use in attempts to conquer Dawnstar, he was also attempting to conquer Winterhold from the Stormcloaks, as its proximity to Windhelm would force Ulfric to keep forces stationed at home. Tullius also pocketed men in the Rift, who took out the Stormcloak soldiers at Shore's Watchtower. 
These troops were stationed here to secure the rear guard of the Legion in the event of a siege of Windhelm. Tullius also ordered Margaret, an Imperial spy in the Reach, to find and obtain the deed to Sidna Mine, a silver mine serving as the Jail of Markarth, which belonged to the Stormcloak loyal Silverbloods. Thonar Silverblood, the head of the family, found out that Margaret was a spy and tried to have her get assassinated by Waylon, a member of the Forsworn. However, Tullius faced several challenges. His pleas for additional troops were denied by the Emperor, who was wary of compromising Cyrodiil's border security against the Third Aldmeri Dominion. Furthermore, Tullius's unfamiliarity with Nordic traditions frequently posed a disadvantage. Although Tullius understood that the High King was traditionally selected by the Moot, Ulfric pursued the Jagged Crown, a symbol of authority that could sway public support in his favor and validate his claim. Harking back to the time when the crown was the emblem of sovereignty prior to the establishment of the Moot. Tullius is said to be opposed to the White Gold Concordat and to resent the Thalmor, which he ironically has in common with his nemesis, Ulfric Stormcloak. He believed the entire rebellion could be blamed on the Thalmor, who stirred it up to force the Empire to waste precious resources and soldiers. This becomes apparent during the quest Season Unending, when Ulfric expresses vehement indignation about the Thalmor being present at the negotiations in High Hrothgar. Antullius shows a thinly veiled agreement with Ulfric right in front of Elenwen. Tullius's defining traits is his sense of duty and loyalty to the Empire. He has spent his life serving as a soldier and rising through the ranks to become a trusted commander. His adherence to Imperial values and laws is unwavering, and he views the rebellion in Skyrim not just as a threat to the Empire's authority, but also as a betrayal of the principles he has sworn to uphold. This sense of duty shapes many of Tullius's decisions throughout the game driving him to take decisive and sometimes harsh actions to quell the uprising. Tullius's interactions with other characters in Skyrim also shed light on his personality and beliefs. His relationship with Legate Ricca, his second in command, highlights his trust in capable subordinates and his willingness to listen to different viewpoints. While he may clash with Ricky at times, their partnership is built on mutual respect and a shared commitment to the Empire's cause. Tullius' interactions with the Dragonborn, the player character, also reveal his pragmatism and adaptability as he recognizes the Dragonborn's unique abilities and potential to sway the course of the war. Despite his strengths as a leader, General Tullius is not without his flaws. His unwavering loyalty to the Empire can sometimes blind him to the suffering of individual citizens or the nuances of local politics. His rigid adherence to military protocol and discipline can also create friction with those who value personal freedom or cultural heritage above all else. However, it is precisely these flaws that make Tullius a compelling and relatable character in the world of Skyrim. In conclusion, General Tullius is a multifaceted and compelling character whose actions and beliefs shape the narrative of Skyrim's civil war. His sense of duty, loyalty to the Empire, pragmatism, and leadership skills make him a formidable opponent for the Stormcloak Rebels and a respected figure within the Imperial Legion. While not without his flaws, Tullius' character adds depth and complexity to the game's overarching conflict, challenging players to consider the moral and political implications of their choices. Whether viewed as a stalwart defender of Imperial authority or a symbol of oppressive rule, General Tullius remains one of the most memorable characters in Skyrim's rich tapestry of storytelling. If you enjoy my videos and want to support me, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.